Hi chemists, we're now moving into two new laws called Gay-Lussac's Law and the Combined Gas Law. After this video, you should be able to explain the effect on gas properties using Gay-Lussac's Law and the Combined Gas Law, and calculate an unknown pressure, temperature, or volume by solving algebraically for one of these variables. Joseph Gay-Lussac discovered the relationship between temperature and pressure. His name is on this gas law because he's ultimately the one that describes this relationship. So he says for a given volume of a gas, basically that means that volume is not changing, as the temperature of an enclosed gas increases, the pressure of a gas is directly proportional. We can simplify this relationship with this formula. P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2, where P1 and P2 are going to be the pressure in any unit. It could be ATM, KPA, or MMHG usually, but again, they must match. T1 and T2 would be again temperature, and this has to always be in Kelvin. So remember, just add 273 to that degree Celsius temperature. So here's an example. A gas has a pressure of 103 kPa at 25 degrees Celsius. What would, be the what would be the pressure when the temperature reaches 928 degrees Celsius? Just like we always do, we list out all the variables and extract the information from the problem. Notice again, I converted the temperatures right into Kelvin just to make my life easier. And now what we want to do is take note of the fact that our unit is for pressure KPA, so that will also be the unit of our pressure that when we solve this problem. So now we're going to use P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2, and we're going to just plug up all the numbers in. This would be another example where you can cross multiply. Um, so for example, you could do 103 kPa times the 1201 Kelvin, and then do the 298 times the P2, right? That's like your X, and you can set those equal to each other and then do the division. Or you could do 103 kPa divided by 298K and then times 1201K. And so when you do this, you should get that P2 equals 420 kPa. Let's talk about the combined gas law. So the combined gas law is a single expression that combines Boyle's, Charles's, and Gay-Lussac's laws. This gas law describes the relationship between temperature, pressure, and volume of a gas. It allows you to do calculations where only the amount of the gas is held constant. So this is the combined gas law. P1 times V1 over T1 equals P2 times V2 over T2. Now, here's a really helpful hint. You are able to get which law you need by covering up the variable that is not mentioned in the problem, or basically the variable that is held constant. So what's nice about this is that there's no need to memorize four individual laws. Instead, just memorize the combined gas law and you can get all of the others. So for example, if there's no mention of temperature in the problem, right, that means that that is going to be what's held constant. So what you'll do is you'll cover up temperature. And when you cover up temperature, that is Boyle's law. Another example, if there's no mention of pressure in the problem, cover the P's up, notice that is Charles's law. And then if there's no mention of volume, cover volume up, and that's Gay-Lussac's. Pretty cool. So here's an example. It says a gas occupies 3.78 liters at 529 millimeters of mercury and 7.2 degrees Celsius. At what pressure would the volume of the gas be 4.54 liters if the temperature is increased to 34.8 degrees Celsius? So again, I'm going to list out all the variables and just extract the information. We want to take inventory of our units now. So notice that we've got our temperatures at Kelvin, so we're good there. Both volume units are matching, so that looks good there. And um, our answer would be the same for our pressure unit would be the same as the pressure unit that's there. So we are going to use P1 times 
times V1 over T1 equals P2 times V2 over T2 because those are all the variables we have in the problem. So we're going to just simply plug and chug. Take your time though because I know there's a lot of numbers here. And the good news is, is the mathematics is what we've been doing all along. So you can again cross multiply, you can simplify, but as always, I do recommend that you actually do these problems so that you can verify that you know how to do the math involved. So when you do this, you should get 467 millimeters of mercury. All right, guys, so that's it for the combined gas law and Gay-Lussac's law. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you so much for watching.